Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering. Hello, sir. Uh, so I just made an important decision. I, I came into this town, and this town had the thing where uh, you can sell, or you can trade it, you can trade in three gold amulets for any white creatures. So I traded in a total of four uh, uh, am green amulets to get two white knights, and I just put a third white knight into my deck. And then I saw the three white knights, I saw black horde, I saw circle of protection in black. And I just came to the decision. Just now, is what I want to do. Is, uh, I'm gonna go to the black castle. Mm-hmm. See how it goes there. I'll buy this burst of speed spell. So I'm gonna try to head into the black castle. Because of all the, all the things I've been fighting, I've been faring the best against black. Check the Shellcliff Temple real quick. See if there's anything useful in here I want. Doesn't look like it. Blue amulet for red cards. Not super concerned. Buy a little bit of food. Alright. Whoops. Uh, don't want to do the mind stealer. Ah, uh, come on! I'm trying to get around you idiots! Alright, planes. Land tax! Hell yeah. So I, I plan with the uh, going to black, because I got the three white knights, all have protection from black. I've got Seeker, which makes the creatures can only be blocked, that target enchanted creature can only be blocked by. Ooh. No. Gonna have to white knight it. Uh, Seeker makes it so that the enchanted creature can only be blocked by white or artifact creatures, which should get through most of the things there. I got Black Ward, which gives a target creature protection from black. I got Circle Protection Black, which protects me from black damage. So I feel like just having all of that alone should help me wreck most of the stuff in there. I believe. Having a low amount of life might be scary. But we'll see. Extra mana links may not be a bad idea. I'll keep checking towns along the way, see if I can get some extra mana links. Just to keep my life up. Alright, let's land tax it. Grab some island, grab some planes. Plane islands. Uh, I guess just play the vultures and attack with White Knight. There you are. I've been I've been messing up green quite a bit too. I feel like like that's mostly what I've been fighting. But eh, whatever. Plays Birds of Paradise, but you also play land, so I get some land tax. Boop boop boop. Oh, there's the ancestral recall. Hell, yes. Uh, I'm just gonna attack first and force myself to discard. That'd be done here. All right, discards. All these lands I got. Just gonna get a lot of those. Cool. Mm-hmm. Nice. <clears throat> He's still getting more, more lands than me, so I can keep land taxing for a force of nature. Pay four green mana or deal take eight damage. Ooh. All right, Ancestor Recall. Myself, to draw three cards. Mm, I was hoping for slightly better stuff than that. But I can also land tax to keep pulling out garbage. I still got both my swords and plowshes in there. I'm looking at taking eight damage right now. Uh, unless I moat. Well, now you're forced to. Now you're forced to nature can't attack, sucker. Must stop land taxing. We're not running out of cards in my deck. Get out of your lands. It pays the upkeep costs, fool. See. Ah, oh, hurricane just one damage to everything. Oh well. There we are. See, now I'm drawing win cards. I'm gonna give her holy armor too. I don't trust. I don't trust his spells. 
all the hurricanes and whatnot. This, this deck's kind of fun. I wish I had more interaction with the other player. Oh, he disenchanted Holy Armor. Thank God, he could disenchant and Moat. That would have been way worse for me. But thankfully, he's kind of stupid. So, uh, Air Elemental. And then, uh, I'm gonna play Savannah Alliance too, just so that for some reason he does, is able to attack with Force of Nature. I have enough power to block and destroy it. So much debt. So I've got a primarily flying deck, aside for a few small creatures, and a bunch I just put in there specifically for the Black Castle. But for the most part, like I've got all flying, Moat makes it so I, only my creatures can attack, and I got land tax to make sure I'm grabbing things I got. Ooh, there's Swords of Plowshare. Which right now, if I attack with everything, I'll win. In fact, I can guarantee it. Check it. Seeker on the White Knight. Now nah, it has to be blocked by white creatures. Oh wait, I've got moat. Pfft, never mind, I'm stupid. That would work if I didn't have moat, okay? It would have been awesome. I'm just dumb. Yeah, but it sucks not being able to attack. Nerd. To disenchant the seeker. Again, could have disenchanted the moat. Not that it changes much. So it got you dead to rights. Here we are, kill you. <laughs> don't do it, dragon. I'm just. Uh, I don't want to lose Swords Plowshare, so I'm paying 110 gold. Not ideal, but I want to make sure I have those. Alright, Black Castle is more south. More southwest across the coast. Okay. We're getting there. I'll walk through the forest to grab some extra food. That's a cool looking Dargan. What do you guys have here? Swamps, unholy strength. If you seek the green amulet, travel east to Unicorn Shrine. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go to Unicorn Shrine. All the way over there. Oh, I ain't happening. Uh, should I sell it? Oh, oh, Angry Mob. Angry Mob needs to be in my deck. I almost forgot about that. It gets, it's a trample card. A trample creature gets more power for every swamp they have. And if they have a lot of swamps, it's just, just juicing me up. I need to sell a... I want to sell a thing. Put a Cyclopean 2. Put a Meyer counter on target land. And that's a swamp. You're dumb. I'll take 95 gold for you. Okay, so more south. Check this real fast. Another seeker. Green wizard sends a forest ring attack Shillcliff Keep. Shit. Well, hopefully I can at least attempt the black castle first. It's right there. Seeker, black eyes, paralyzed. I shall tell you of dungeons that hold valuable spells. Which one? The Soul Chant Monastery. It's got the Mox Emerald. Orcish Aura Flame. Life Loss Carried Over. And West of Shell Cliff Keep. West of Shell Cliff Keep. Okay. There it is. This might be a huge mistake. Oh, frick. Ooh. Well, at least I can start off with a land tax right away. Get that going. Right, so I'll, I'll go attempt the Black Castle. If it works, I'll be super. I'll run to a town real quick, edit my deck, and then warp to save the city under attack. Draw land out of my deck. There we go. And I've got just enough mana to uh, cast Remove Soul, so if he casts a creature, I can counter it. So that he doesn't have much of an advantage here. Prodigal Sorcerer. Just out of principle. No. <laughs> That'll show him. There we go. See, now I'm starting to draw like Sarah Angel and other things that'll actually help me win. 
And dish the black ward too. Won't be needing that at all. I've got two Sarah Angels in my hand. Nice. Land tax. How many lands? I got a lot of land left in my deck. Let's keep pulling all these out. Get that garbage out of there. I only want wing cards, baby. My mob's angry. It's a 2 2 trample. Totally worth. Ooh. Lisa did uh, bait him into using Swords of Plowshare. So now he won't be using that on my angels. Still hasn't. The fact that he's playing so little is kind of scary. Alright, and then after this pull, there's only two more lands left in the deck. There's the moat. I don't have any other creatures I can throw out right now. Alright, one Sarah Angel. We're gonna anticipate he's got more sorts of plowshares or other removal spells. Uh, Seeker's not gonna help me against this fight. Because he's gonna have he's gonna have white creatures to block with, so I won't need Seeker. I have one last land tax. Boom. I now have all the uh, land cards out of my deck. Which means I will only be drawing things to win with. This will be fun. There you go, take four right there. Gotta discard some stuff. Fine by me. I only had to discard one. I even have Ancestral Recall if I want to draw even more gas. I took Black Vice out of my deck, by the way, while I was tweaking stuff. Ooh, there it is. His own Sarah Angel. Sonic Blast deals four damage, doesn't it? Hee <laughs> I also just drew Swords of Plowshare. But this is a better removal. Just because it doesn't give him life. And then I can attack with both my, both my ladies. Just bring you down to four. Yeah, you may go. Yeah, this this is how game should be. Res dominate the whole time. That's fun. <laughs> Savannah Lions. Oh no! Ancestral Recall. Let me draw some cards. Wow. Third Sarah Angel. Boom. This is a foursome that I wish I could have. Suck it. Got him. Oh, Lord of Atlantis. If only I had a Merfolk deck. I'm not crazy about these. I'll take the clue. Small white creatures. Life loss carried over. Crusade permanently in effect. Alright. Oh, oh. Save, save, save the game. Save the game. Alright, let's try it. The Black Wizard Tower. Who dares to challenge the mighty Black Wizard? Are you brave enough to enter my castle? Yes. Greed is in effect. For one mana, pay two life, draw a card. Oof, that could get mean. So now, um, now there are treasures you can find in the castles, but rather than getting cards, they usually just get gold or jewels. Which I'm also okay with. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll go this way and try to get the dice. I'm not gonna answer. He's got carrying ants? Ooh. That's not cool. Unholy strength and carry ants right away? Uh oh. Uh. Uh oh. Did it say life loss carries over in this place? Oh, it activates greed twice and draw two more cards. Ow. I need a creature of any kind, please. Alright, ancestral recall myself. Uh, all right, land tax. Okay. Actually, not that bad to pull stuff out of, which means it's okay to start discarding some of my lands. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Please don't pump. Okay, he didn't. Which means he's gonna play something big. That's scary. Until I get moat online, it's taking a lot of pain. E. Land tax. 
Get me this, get this garbage. Get this garbage out of here. Black Knight! Damn it! And I lose. Anything I can do to not die. Because right now he can hit me for seven damage. If he plays one more swamp, he can hit me for eight and I'll die. I could give his carrying ants protection from black, which would destroy the unholy strength. Not ideal, but there you go. It took took away two power from him. Ugh, gross. Oh, he got he got the black ritual, so now none of this matters. You're unceremoniously booted from the stronghold. We're trying again. At least it's just green effects. There could be worse things. I should put Black Vice back in if they're gonna use greed. What is the total casting cost of fog? It is one. I love that card. Ooh. You get Osai Vulture's next duel. Yeah, it's a creature. Can't really get around anything. This is a much more open dungeon layout. This might be a little bit easier to find him. Oh, there he is. Alright, path of least resistance to get there, I think, is just through these dudes. I'm gonna try to get these dice after this fight. He starts with the Hypnotic Spectre, but thankfully, I start with Black Vultures. Or Osai Vultures, which I just clicked the wrong button. I wanted to play planes to get the Osai Vultures Black Ward to protect himself from Hypnotic Spectre. I clicked the wrong thing. How badly is this gonna fuck me? Are you gonna make me discard Black Ward? Because I swear to God. Alright, it was just the planes. Could've been worse. Vulture. Listen to me, Vulture. You're going to protect me from everything. <laughs> now you can never die. Savannah Lands I can't stop. I'd rather take damage than lose cards out of my hand. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't even attack. Loser. Interestingly, it hasn't played any black mana yet. Ooh, Sonic Blast? Not yet. I'd rather he do some crazy stuff and then I blast it. Oh, there's a swamp. My vultures. My protected vultures, thank you. Okay. Still not looking super great. Healing salve on himself to gain free life? Gives the Hypnotic Spectre plus two plus one. Activates greed. Attacks with everything. Okay, so before before oh. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blast this Spectre and destroy it. And then I'll take four. That's fine. Oh, oh, perfect draw. Perfect draw. Alright, back in control. I thought about just blocking the Hypnotic Spectre with Osai Vultures and blasting the others. But I was, I was afraid the Hypnotic Spectre would become more and more powerful. And I wouldn't be able to stop it before that. It keeps like putting holy strength or something, uh, unholy strength on it, so. I did this Sarah, uh, did the Sonic Blast to destroy it now. Which is great, because now Sarah Angel has free reigns. So I'll attack in the air for five. And then drop the air elemental. So I got plenty of protection. Now typically in the castles, it doesn't have a life loss. Ashes to ashes? Oh! He just won. He took five damage but removed two creatures from the game. And he's hitting me for six. I lost land tax. I'm gonna load. Ah, I just saved scum again. Why do I. I don't wanna do that. 
But I lost land tax, and I like that card a lot. <laughs> I, I had one extra one, I sold it, because I had one already. Plus one life. Plus one life. This is unusually kind. Which one has trample? Uh, Ball of Lightning does. This is an awesome card. For three mana, you instantly get a 6-1 that tramples through. It dies at the end of the turn, but it's a 6-1 trample you just immediately attack with. Consequences be damned. See, look at this random layout. There's like no one here. Let's check out this way. Hello? Okay. Check this way. Oof. Uh, let's go. Let's go with you. Yeah, he starts with Hypnotic Spectre, because of course he does. Oh, but here we have a familiar sight. The Black Ward on Osai Vultures. Ah, <sighs> protected from the Hypnotic Spectre. Guys, it's like the best turn one draws you possibly have. Then I got the Savannah Alliance, which I will attack with if he blocks with Hypnotic Spectre. <gasps> Hurricane! Oh no! Mm -hmm. That's a bad. That's a bad. Oh wait, I have enough for Sonic Blast! Destroy that! Fuck you! <sighs> okay. I forgot he's got green spells. I wasn't expecting an instant hurricane. I mean, it at least bought me one turn from him hitting me with stuff. If I uh, discarded Sarah Angel or any you know, one of my other lands, it would have been far worse. Do I have a clone? Uh, do it. Block. I dare you. Alright, cool. He gains two life out of it, basically. Uh, and that's it. But when I'm behind like this, I'd rather he not have creatures on his side of the field. So that was a trade out that I'm okay with. Uh, keeps drawing cards. I'll play Sarah Angel. Hopefully she survives till next turn so I can clone it. Man, greed's really good. Just pay two life to draw a card. I would do that. If I, well, if I my life total was higher, for sure. He plays his own Sarah Angel. See? This is why you clone him. Now, attacks. Hopefully he trades out. Great. Cool. Now, my hand is empty, and he can keep drawing cards, and he's attacking with Savannah Lions. Now, if this is a person, I'd be super suspicious of this and assume he's got some kind of pump, like Howl from Beyond or something else, but I'm facing a computer, so I'm going to assume you're real dumb. Nope, giant growth. On my creature. I was right. You're real dumb, and it worked out in my favor. <laughs> I'll take it. That computer AI, though. Uh, okay. Yeah, now I'm not drawing anything useful. Oh, Gem Bazaar. Get ready for that sound to be annoying, where every turn Gem Bazaar is worth a different mana. Or any time you tap it. So they're... Oh, mo... Alright, well. It'll shut down his giant spider, at least. And, uh, any other ground creatures he could possibly have? If he attacks a Sarah Angel, I will block with my own Sarah Angel and trade him out, because then he has no flyers. And I know I've got more in my deck somewhere, so I need to find them. Uses ashes to ashes, though, to... Kill my dudes. Bring himself down to three. And I already used Cyanide Blast, otherwise I could kill him. And Moat is not stopping Sarah Angel. Crap. Air Elemental! There we go. Got some protection up. He has five cards left in his hand. His life is low, so he can't greed anymore. Cool. Doesn't attack. Oh, he just played Erg Raiders. And if he doesn't... If Erg Raiders doesn't attack... 
he takes two damage. I have Moat out, so Erg Raiders can't attack. So all I gotta do is chill and let Erg Raiders kill him for me. That's my plan right now. Oh, healing salve. Unholy strength on Sarah Angel. Oh, no. I'm going to not block because I'll go down to one. I won't be dead, but if I do block and lose the air elemental, if I get like any kind of pump spell next turn that can't play on the air elemental, uh, that's no good. So it's better for me just to go down to one and just hope I draw something useful. Nope, but you an island. This can still work out in my, my favor. Because I'm going to have the Erg Raiders kill him. He'll attack with Sarah Angel. I block with Air Elemental. And then at the end of... Wait, what is this? Yeah, okay. And then Erg Raiders will kill him. Boop. And I live with one life. Sucker! Uh, this way. With the toughness of Sarah Angel, four... Get plus two life. I have no idea where the dude is. Get an air elemental next duel. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna try to fight you then, since I got the air elemental. Oh, perfect. Planes. Black ward. Air elemental. Dunskis. And I've got Circle of Protection Black already, so I can protect myself from black damage. Oh, our White Knight. I've got... I have all kinds of crazy wind conditions right now. Uh, we're gonna go with the White Knight. <coughs> Attack Air Elemental. So now, at least both being protection from black, I should have him dead in two turns. Unless he plays a green creature. That's all I can do. And thankfully, like I said before, in the castle's life loss doesn't carry over, so I started back up with maximum health again. Oh, plus some, since I had the, uh, dice. Ancestral Recall, draw three cards. Play Circle Protection Black. Attack with both my dudes for six. Feeling pretty good. Oh, we got blocker. Okay, that's obnoxious. I'm gonna clone my own air elemental just to get another large flying creature. I'll probably block with Anulet. Which the first strike damage will kill it. He'll gain two life from its death, and then air elemental will hit it for four. And then I got plenty of damage here, and I don't think he's going to cast anything that'll stop that. Yeah. Wanderlust. Hits me for one, but don't matter. Attack with everybody. Attack with everybody. Gotcha. Cool. Oh, treasure and all kinds of dice. Which one has regeneration? The Will of the Wisp does. Plus three life. Particle Sorcerer next duel. What? Where the heck is he? Maybe down in this corner? That has to be because there's like nowhere else I can go. Prodigal Sorcerer next duel. Eh. Plus one life. Plus three life. Oh, he's right there. He's got a dice in front of him. I currently got plus three life. Plus two life. I gotta go for it. It's the Great Lich. This is the actual Black Wizard. He has 37 maximum life. Oh, he already has freaking Hypnotic Spectre. I do have White Knight in my hand. Please don't get discarded. Oh, lost land. Not good. Uh, until I have a way of stopping Hypnotic Spectre, I'm pretty much boned here. 
uses dark ritual and greed to just draw a crap ton of cards. Which he's gonna have to discard quite a few of. No, my other planes! Uh. Damn it! Oh, this sucks! If I just had the other planes, I'd be doing so great right now. Lost Prodigal Sorcerer. <sighs> Come on, let me kill a Black Wizard. Will of the Wisp. Just keeps using greed to draw a crazy amount of cards, and then just gonna have to discard a bunch. Swamp, swamp. Okay, there we go. Uh, White Knight. Just because he's got that circle protection black, it's my best bet right now. Puts on a Mox Jet, attacks, I can't stop him, discard something. Ah, holy strength, I was hoping to put that on the White Knight so I could keep slapping him. He sure is using Greed a lot, and taking a lot of damage because of it. Put down the Osai Vultures. So I get myself a blocker and I'll attack for two. Eh, yes! I'm technically winning! Uh, I got clone. I'm actually okay with losing any one of these cards because I don't have any swamps or any islands in my hand. And I don't think I'm going to be drawing any anytime soon. Tetravis. Ooh. That's mean. Not looking great. Maybe I can get him to keep a uh, mind twist. He's making himself discard four cards. And then he drew some more cards off of greed. Good 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 job, AI. Uh I'm gonna blah I'm taking six damage here. I barely take the damage for now. That's hmm. Man, I really wish I had if it was an island I could sonic blast something. It would be amazing. Well, I can attack like this. It's not a great advantage, but something. Yeah, I'll trade out here. But I'll at least get rid of one of those other flying creatures. I'll basically have to use Osai Vultures to block. Yeah, a single Howl from Beyond will kill me. If I got him one more counter, I could block Hypnotic Spectre and use the carry encounters to pump up and kill it. Uh, ah. Bye, Sonic Blast. I can't win. Unless he just greed, uses greed a lot. Just draws a bunch of cards until he dies. Nope, he drains my life. And dead. Ah! And... Okay, now this time. This time's the time. Just you watch. Strap yourselves in, we're gonna have another long episode. Cause I want this freaking wizard dead. Rainbow Knights 2. Cause I want I wanna win and kill someone. Look at all these dice I get! Plus one life. A white knight next duel, that's a great way to start. Uh we'll go this way. Uh and text it. Boom. Okay, so I can at least kill at least one wizard, so I feel like I'm making progress in this game, that'd be great. Because I don't want this series to go on forever, and everyone in the comments is already yelling at me enough. Oh, swords of plowshares, get rid of that hypnotic specter, bullshit. Goodbye. I'll hit you for two, and I'm gonna use land text to draw some cards after you play a land, just to make sure I get some things I can win with. Or I can pull out a plane so I can play a second white knight, that's what we're gonna do. Land tax. Uh, planes, Plains Island. Plains. White Knight. There you are. Yeah, deal with this. Oh, I should've put Black Vice back in my hand. Forgot. Oh well. Just so- just cause he kept using Greed to draw a crap ton of cards every turn, cause he has so much life, he just didn't give a shit. Nope, I forgot to 
Land tax. Whoops. Block, do it. Loser. I might clone <laughs> my white knights just to get a third one. Hill attacked for two. I'm okay with that. Play anything else? Another onulet? Lame. Land tax out some lands. Ooh, Seeker. That doesn't actually help me right now. Uh, yeah. Attack with everything. Ha! Came down to six. Duh. Clone. <laughs> All white knight. I said I'd do it. I spent four mana for a 2 2 creature. Mm. Real good magic, you guys. <laughs> Fungasaur? Oh, Fungasaur's awesome. Any, if he uh, takes any damage and survives, he gets a plus one, plus one counter until end of turn. So I used to have a deck where I would have a Fungasaur and a Prodigal Sorcerer, and I would shoot him for one so that he'd live, and then just, uh, uh, so that just keep pumping my own dude up with, uh, with Prodigal Sorcerer. It was really funny. I'm going to attack with everything. Because I want to see how he blocks. I'd imagine he'll throw out the onulets to get some life off of it. Well, he does two blocks. Brings him down to five. Oh, just out of Psionic Blast range. Damn it. I was hoping he would block in some way that he's at four and I could just blast him. But alas. Ooh, Singer Vampire, that's no joke. It's too bad it's black. And we're all protected from it. Boom. Okay, you're dead. So I want to check all of these. What's the power rating of Iron Claw Orcs? Those are two. Yep. The total cost and cost of land leeches. Uh, there are three mana for 2 2 first strike. Yep. Grab this dice real fast, check the other way. Plus two life for next duel. Uh, I'm gonna head back towards the exit and check those other two pathways. I can't, those, there's impossible those to actually go anywhere, but maybe there's a, another scroll or a, some dice. Uh, or none of the above. All right, I'll just Duel my way through a vampire lord. He's got bats. Ooh. Turn one Savannah so Alliance. I can black ward it too. Do I hit me for one? No? He has one mana to spend on something else? If I draw another planes, I can drop my white knights. Hell yes. Alright, gonna freaking win off of White Knights. And Lions! Do your worst! Ooh, actually a land tax is awesome because I don't have any other lands in my deck. And then for good measure, we'll uh, put a Black Ward on Savannah Lions just to make sure that uh, we get that damage through. feel great about this. I've got quite the advantage right now just because he can't stop me and he can only do so much damage to me with his vampire bats. Uh, oop, didn't play any swamps so I can't land tax. That sucks. But I can put on another white knight. Still won't, I won't play the island because I still want to see if he can Play another land just to help make sure I draw enough land. Put, put enough land in my hand, I can play Sarah Angel. And if he doesn't place any other land, well, then my creatures will kill him in two turns. 
Only pumped for one. He's got one swamp left. Dark ritual. Use a dark ritual into a dark ritual to get a singer vampire. Ooh. Well, that's no joke. Not the worst thing in the world, though. As I've got... I've, these are all protection from black. He can't stop any of these. And should things go horribly wrong, somehow, I can swords the plowshare as a singer vampire. But I'm only looking at taking six damage here, and I'll live from that. Yep, there we go. Go in for the kill, and then move on. Okay. Check these scrolls. Which one has flying? The... Uh, Ragdon Spirit does not. Phantasmal Forces does. Anything here? Oh, dice. Let's check this. What is the total cost and cost of Praetis Gypsies? There were three. Yeah? Yep, okay. Get a White Knight next duel. Fuck yes. Uh, I'll fight you with a White Knight. He's got carrion ants. Oh, he takes a mulligan, and I can... Because he's taking a mulligan, I can choose to. I've got Swords of Plowshares, White Knight, Two Sarah Angels, Divine Transformation. I think I'll keep. Just because... I can get rid of that right away. There we go. And start hitting him for two. I could see the carrion ants getting out of control very easily. So the fact I can get rid of it now and he doesn't gain any life off of it feels good. And so long as I got this white knight doing a guaranteed two damage every turn, I should be in okay shape. One more planes gets me a second one white knight. I have all three Sarah Angels in my hand, which is rough. Oh, Circle Protection Black, even better. That'll keep me alive until I get another land out. So I can use one mana to prevent damage to me from one black source. So for example, if the uh, Vampire Bats attacks me, I can pay one blue mana to prevent all the damage from the Vampire Bats. If he attacks me like three creatures, I can use three mana to prevent all the damage. And he's got the planes out, so I got two white knights. And he can't attack because I got that circle of protection. Yeah, I could just not play anything else and just win with white knights and circle of protection. Ooh, third white knight. I like this. There you go. Cool. I should have him dead next turn. Yeah? Feeling scared? See, you only got swamps out, so you can't play... Oh, no, not a singer vampire. Arr, nar. Not a singer verper. I'll tie for six. Oh, man. I have no idea where this dude is. He's probably gonna be somewhere in here. I can't imagine he's up in this corner. This is just gonna wrap around. So that was a fight that I didn't need to do. Keep looking around this way. This is definitely a dead end. So it's at best treasures. I'll have to get through these two vampire lords this way, I guess. He's got those freaking carrion ants. Ow. My opening hand sucks. Unless I draw another plane, so that's great. Gonna mana vault it? Alright. Uh, no, not very helpful. Now, because he used Mana Vault, he needs to pay more fire mana to untap it, so it's gonna deal him damage every turn. Okay. I mean, he got some early damage on me. Ooh, circle protection, yes. I did take a lot of early damage because of the Mana Vaults, but, uh, I should be stabilizing pretty quick here with Circle of Protection. Source of plowshare, get rid of the uh, ants. Or I can chill. I'll chill. Let him take damage from his own mana vaults. Yeah, 
He doesn't even attack anymore. Uncle Istvan. Alright, now I'll switch plowshares to Kyrian Ant since he's out of mana. Damn it. Can't can't do much until I get the get another planes out. But right now he can't do much to me as long as I got this protection. I used to have all these circle protection cards way back in the day. We disenchant. Which I don't really need to do. Uh, let's get rid of Seeker. I don't feel the need to cast Seeker when I've got Moat also in my hand, and Moat's going to cover way more things. Goes in for the attack. Okay. I'll let him do it. Okay, so now I can Circle Protection. Stop one. Circle Protection. Stop the other. And I take no damage. There we go. White Knight! I'm gonna name you Gaia. Because you're fierce. So now, White Knight can stop Uncle Istvan. And Circle Protection can block Vampire Vats. You can't win, buddy. I can just chill until Mana Vault kills you. Oh, there's the angry mob. Oh, they would be awesome right now. Dang it. If I had this out in attacks, he'd be like a 7-7 trample. Which is ridiculous. Let's see, holy strength on the white knight. Bring him up to a 3-4. Can't quite attack with it. I'm gonna stay defensive and just let mana vault slowly bring him down. Until he's like within kill range, and then I'll attack with white knight. That's my plan, at least. Damage prevention. Still can't hurt me. The Sorceress Queen. Oh yeah, perfect. So now he's like out of mana. So I can basically attack with White Knight, bring him down to two, and next turn he's going to take one damage each from both of his still tapped mana vaults. And that'll kill him. But just in case, we're gonna put down the Savannah Lions with a black ward on them. Alright, just in case. Cool, got him. Oh, another dice! Plus one life! So I just gotta bust through this vampire lord. Okay, decent opening hand. Plenty of mana with a Sarah Angel and Cyanide Blast for removal. I'm gonna take some damage off of freaking vampire bats. But other than that, this looks good. Looks good. I can do this. I can beat the Black Wizard, I swear. In this long ass episode of magic. I never intended to do this, it just kinda happens. Damn, two bats. Just give me three more turns, and I'll have Sarah Angel, you slut. Uh, I'm sorry. If he plays Singer Vampire, I can Psionic Blast it. Ooh. Almost there. Just got so many bats. Maybe take four damage here if he uses all of his mana, but he uses none of it so he can cast something. What are you casting? Carrion Ants. That's more dangerous. There are worse things I could go up against. Alright, I still got plays. I might blast the Carrion Ants. Okay, yeah, so he chose not to spend the mana there. Because I think he'll probably play Singer Vampire. He's got five swamps out. He has enough for Singer Vampire. There it is. And now that that's out, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Hmm. Get out of here with that. There. 
The demons are dead. Long live the reign of angels. Cool. Really glad I did that that way. Dark Witcher roll. Ooh, weakest on Sarah Angel. Brings it down to a 2 3. Draws three cards off of Greed. Then casts Terror Destroy Sarah Angel instantly. Attacks with Carrion Ants and uses uh, Mana Vault to pump it. Wow. Alright, that was a lot of stuff just now. Okay. Uh, Osai Vultures? And we're also gonna give it Holy Armor. Just to help me get a Defender. <laughs> it's not great, but at least this way... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> oh crap, nope, that's... All right, he just activated his mana vault. So he's got three colorless mana plus another five. So if I block the carry, so he, he could possibly put a total of eight mana into the carrying ants and make them into an eight, nine until end of turn, which will kill me. Now the vampire bats can only take the black mana, which if they do, uh, they can only get a maximum of two black mana into each of them. So I could take a total of six here. So I basically have to block the carrying ants Otherwise, it's death. Or maybe he spends none of the mana. Nope, he spends some. To deal three damage, and I'll activate Holy Armor in response. Just to make him to a 1 4. So he stays alive. Whew. Okay. He didn't spend any other mana to deal me damage, which means he's got other plans, which is scary. Another Singer Vampire. That would do it. I drew an island. Oh, I'm gonna lose here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna die here. My other, my only other plan is to survive long enough that Mana Vault somehow kills him. Because he's taking two damage per turn for Mana Vault. If I can survive this turn... Somehow, which I don't think I can, just because he's got Singer Vampire out. He's got... Six mana once again. Oh, okay. Maybe I can survive. So even with six mana, no matter which way he, way he puts them, it won't kill me. But I can block Singer Vampire and survive it. Check it. Alright, block Singer Vampire. Yeah, puts two into a bat. Puts four into the ants. I'll take six. I'll go down to two life. And I'm going to use Holy Armor, Holy Armor, Holy Armor, Holy Armor. Yeah! Outside Vultures lives! There. He's completely tapped out. Oh my god, this is brilliant. He's completely tapped out. Uh, just for good measure, Black Ward on the Outside Vultures. I'm going to attack and hit him for one. Brings him down to two, and at the beginning of his turn... His tapped mana vault, steal one damage each, he dies, and I live. Ha! <laughs> Moving on! I'm still in it, baby! Here we go! I can't believe that worked. Alright. Plenty of mana in my opening hand. Swords of Plowshare removal is also great. Probably gonna hold on to that until he plays something bigger than Vampire Bats. Second Vampire Bats. D just do it. We know it's coming. Huh. Ooh, that last duel. That was close. And that was close. Let's see, I will Swords Plowshare carrying an ant. I would Swords Plowshare Singer Vampire. Vampire bats are obnoxious, but I can deal with them. He draws three cards off a of Dark Ritual Greed combo. Hey, Circle of Protection Black. Cool. That's gonna, that's gonna basically buy me as much time as I need until I get any kind of useful creature out. Yeah, it's gonna, I'm just gonna chill here. You can't hurt me anymore. Pump him, do it. Alright, if he plays Carrion Ants, I won't sort of plowshare him because Circle Protection Black nullifies it. Singer Vampire, though, that I would 
Uh, that I would. Um, Swords of Plowshare. Ooh, I can make a clone of this Kyrian Ants. Yep, text all here. Nope, oh, doesn't pump anything. So he's got the five mana. Perfect hand. Ooh, another Kyrian Ant. Puts weakness on the Savannah Lions and kills them. Arr! Okay, and there's a Sarah Angel. Great. Cool. This will help me stabilize. So I can start blocking vampire bats and killing them. I can clone Sarah Angel for a second one. Just start taking out some of his creatures here. He only spent one mana to deal me one, which means he's got something else he wants to play. Yep, Singer Vampire. Look at that! Alright, so Swords of Plowshare, that. Oh, I could have cloned it. I should have cloned it. Damn. Uh, no, this is fine. And then we'll make a copy of Sarah Angel, and then... Oh, we put down the land tax. It's just so that, uh... I can start drawing some more cards. I think he still has more lands than me. I've got, what? Six? He has... Six. Okay, I'll pay attention. If he plays a swamp, I'll start land taxing. Drawing some good stuff. Animates the dead. The dead being my Savannah Lions. And then animates the vampire bats? That seems desperate. Another Swords of Plowshare. Uh, just gonna Holy Armor 1 Angel. Just in case. Drain life and the like. Start getting some damage in. How dare you bring back my freaking lions? Oh, okay. So he played the swamp, so now I can land tax. Sucker! Bop, bop, bop. There's the seeker. That actually works out great. So now I can make it so that the, uh,. Now they can't block my angels in the air. Oh, they can't block my angels in the air. I win. Die, nerd. Oh, you can block this one. Ah, well, whatever. I got four in. That's all that matters. Attacks with the Kyrian Ants. Let's see, it's the best way to do this. He has seven mana. Uh, probably best I don't block. Yeah, I think if I just don't block, I'll be okay. Because if he puts all the mana into it, which he does. Oh yeah, circle protection black. Idiot. <laughs> I forgot I had that. Yep, you're done. Hope that was worth it. Cool. Alright. God damn it. Lord of Fate. Oh, and we're going to instantly sort to plowshare this hypnotic specter. I do not want to discard any cards. Thank you very much. Huh. So this is a black white deck. So a lot of my protections aren't going to be as useful here. Savannah Lions? Still useful. I'll even give him Holy Strength. Make him to three threes. I've got the Mana for Psionic Blast. Place the Vultures. Yeah, those are nerds. So I don't care about them. I'll play... Go aggressive here the Lions until I get my bigger stuff online. I'll hit him for three while he can only hit me for one. Oh, unless he gives his uh, vultures unholy strength so he can hit me for three. Okay. 
Holy strength versus unholy strength. Vultures versus lions. Do I blast his vultures? Mm, maybe. Might might do it if he attack. Yeah, he'll attack them again. Place pestilence. Okay, yeah, let's. We're gonna nuke those guys. Just so that uh, slow things down a little bit, so I can get the Sarah Angel online. Cool. Yeah, he can use up a lot of mana to pestilence. It has to be black mana. If he gets four swaps, he could wipe my board. And do a lot of damage to both of us. Healing cells himself to gain three life and then uses black mana to draw two cards and use one more swamp to activate pestilence, dealing one damage to everything. Hope it felt good. And I'm gonna hit you for seven. There you are. Yeah, so now if he got another swamp to do pestilence four times, he'll kill my angel, but he'll die himself. Do it. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Lord of your Lord of Fates. The Lord of your own face, kill yourself. Hmm? Oh. Please Sarah Angel. Well then. My response is Sarah Angel. Uh, I'll attack with both here, because he'll, if he blocks the Van Alliance... Oh no, he wants to trade out here. Okay. Cool. Because now I just have two creatures to his none. So if he has to, he has to drop two creatures here to survive, and one of them has to be flying. Which he does have six cards in his hand, so it's certainly possible. But just judging by how slow he's been playing anything else, I don't think he's got it. Yoshin Soldier, he's dumb. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. Where is your master? Oh, he's got a Hypnotic Spectre. Oh, crap. I don't have any creatures in my hand. Bye, planes. Man, this sucks. It's, it's bad enough when they start with Hypnotic Spectre, it's bad, but it's worse when they get, like, turn one Hypnotic Spectre. Oh, this is gonna kill me. This is gonna make me drop so many cards. It's gonna be all, like, really good stuff. Alright, well... He didn't... He missed a land drop, so at least he... He's missing lands? Oh, oh, there it is. Ah, he made me discard the Sarah Angel. Mm, I have four turns to live. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, because I'm not drawing crap. Oh, Earth Raiders. Things are looking worse. <sighs> oh, pulls away strength. I'm dead. It's over. I lose. I lose, I lose, I lose. Hypnotic Specter, I lose. I lose, I lose, I lose. I can't kill the wizard. Uh, remove soul. It's a counter summon. Mm. I have like a fair amount of stuff in my deck. He beat me with two creatures. God damn it. Alright. So this didn't quite work out, obviously. I couldn't even find where the friggin' wizard was. And I have to pee really badly. So I don't think I can quite kill him. Maybe I'll, just come, maybe I'll just come back when I'm actually at the wizard fight and actually fight the friggin' wizard, because going through all the bullshit in before, beforehand kind of pisses me off. But I can't kill it. My deck is there. I just need I need to not be starting off against hypnotic specters and losing my hand right away. Uh, as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time!